Hello viewers, today I am going to fix this JBL Pulse first generation Bluetooth speaker which is not turning on and not charging. This is completely dead and the reason behind that is this broken charging port coming closer here. You can see this is completely broken inside. We will try first by replacing this then we will see whether it works or not. Now I am going to replace this charging port with this one. I have new original charging port of this JBL Pulse first generation Bluetooth speaker. This is quite different and it is very rare to get and uh, I am going to launch one new channel here in the YouTube to sell this type of parts. Very soon I am going to launch that and I, am, I, will put the disc, I will put this buying link in the description in the near future. I will try to give the buying link in the description in this video of this charging port, micro USB charging port. Alright, let's tear this down to replace the charging port of this speaker. First, I am going to pry here. Alright, now you can see the flex cable is here connected. I am going to remove that carefully. If I pull this, it will break. Now, just removing like this. That's it. Now there are four screws here and on the other side there is a flap here, NFC flap. Remove it carefully. Then there is four screw here again. I am going to remove all those screws. Alright, I am removing this top cover there is one more cover here let me unscrew all these four screws take out this part carefully as, as you can break this flex cable like this all right now taking out the speaker then now that you can see this is the coming closer the broken port this is very strange port actually the this pin is standing vertically here you can see in the board now i have to remove this cable from inside so i have to tear this down Further, removing this flux cable of the light strips. Right, this much is enough. There are four screws, five screws to be precise. This is the first one, and this is the second one. third one fourth one and this is the fifth one now i am going to split into two pieces like this all right removing this speaker cable here Now we can see the charging port cable is here. This one, just taking that out. This one. All right, now, now it will come out like this. The cable is broken here. There, there should be 5 wires connected here, only 2 is connected, this 3 I have to connect, like you can see here, this one. Now I am going to just pull this wire, the other side, outer side. Now I have taken this wire outside here, pulled here, this wire should go to these 3 pins here, bottom. Now before soldering this one, I am going to remove these two minus and plus so that I can replace the charging socket easily. So alright, now I am going to remove that. I 
I have taken these out to replace the charging port here, broken charging board. Before replacing it, I have to clean this board here. There are bit paste here. All right, let me clean that. All right, now I am going to remove this broken USB port using the heat gun. All right, the pin is removed now. So this is the broken pin here. Now I am going to put this new pin. Let me remove and show it. All right, now you can see this is the actual pin. It should look like this. What it is, this right side is old one, broken one. And you can see this is pretty different. The socket is standing vertically like this all right now let's put this new pin to this board before that we have to remove the excess lid here all right let me remove that all right i have cleaned this board here now i am going to place this that's it you can see it is seated properly vertically to the board just right angle to this board now it's time to solder this pin on the back side I'm going to apply the paste and then lead onto this alright I have applied the paste now time to solder the pin let me check it is seated properly uh, yeah it is seated properly let me solder now now I'm going to solder these pins. Done. Let me solder the card driver. Alright. All right, I have soldered the pin now. Now, before fitting this, I am going to check the voltage at these two points. There should be 5.1 volt approximately. It should come here. Now, let me connect the charging pin here. Micro USB cable. Sorry. Yeah, now it is connected. Now, let me see. Let me see. It should get 5 volts at these two points. All right. Now the pin is connected at these two points. There should be voltage of 5.2. Yeah, it is coming. So the pin is working perfectly now. It's time to put this pin back to the speaker. We have to solder the pin here. There are there are five wires. I'm going to solder that. Let me take the speaker back here. I have to trim these three wires. Let me trim that and solder this 5 cable here in this pin all right now i am inserting these cables here done let me solder this first done now the second one all right now let me insert these three wires follow the color code red red at this side just inserting like this now soldering one Then one is fixed. Now the second one. All right. Now the third one. That's it. All five wires is connected to the board. Push this inside and place the motherboard, this charging board properly here. Board is positioned. Now time to check the charging whether it, this speaker is getting charged or not. Before that I have removed this charging cable here. I am going to fix that. Just like this. 
done. Now it's time to put the micro USB to this port. Now I have inserted. All right, it's charging great. You can see here, light is glowing. So we have to wait for some time to the speaker get charged. Actually, I have to paste this gap here. You can see I'm coming closer. I will apply the hot glue here. Then I will push like this so that air will be blocked. Then I will charge the speaker. All right, now I am putting the glue here. That's it. This is enough. Now I am going to just done. Now let me hold this until this glue gets dried. The speaker is uh, the board is dried now. Let me connect the charger again. I have already connected for five ten minutes before. The light is blinking, second light is blinking, you can see, that means it is charging. You can see here. I will show you through the board as well. You can see, it is charging, 3.84 volt is there already. When I charged for the first time, that time it was around 2.5 volt or something. It was dropped drastically because of not at all charging, since the port was broken. Now I have removed, you can see it is 3.7574, now I am inserting the pin, you can see now 3.85 is coming, that means it is charging perfectly, alright, now it's time to assemble the speaker, alright, I will take this out, time to assemble, now I am connecting the speaker cable here, alright, now let me take this out. Done. Now it's time to fix these cables here. I'll fix this and come. Then I have connected these flex cables here for the light LED. Now let me assemble the speaker. After assembling, I will show you the charging port by putting the charge. Alright, now let me insert this. That's it. Now putting the four screws back here. I think this is not positioned properly. Yeah, now it is positioned. All right, putting this board, just connecting this flex cable here. All right, now putting this cover here. All right, I have assembled the speaker. Now it's time to show you the charging. Connecting this micro USB cable. 
all right you can see the speaker is started charging coming closer here 1 point is full the second point is blinking still there are 5 points it will take time to charge because the battery voltage was very low all right thanks for watching the video if you like the video please do like share subscribe to audio is 360 and hit that notification bell icon it will motivate me to make more of like this video thanks again bye